This is the Fraunhofer Center at the University of Connecticut. It is April 5th, 2020, and this is a demonstration of a ventilator, an emergency ventilation device. So what this device does is it squishes an AMBU bag, and this is a wiper motor. The wiper motor is being used to turn a cam, and we have various size cams for various what they call tidal volumes. And so here are three other cams. This cam is providing about 400 milliliters of tidal volume. And to control this, we have a controller here that can change the breaths per minute. Right now, this is set to approximately 20 breaths per minute. Here, we're measuring the pressure. So this is a pressure transducer. And over here, this is our, these are our lungs inside of a uh, water solution. So there's a plastic bag in there. And what that allows us to do is, one, provide back pressure. So simulating a lung. And so the water is, or the air is pushed out by the water. And what it also does is allows us to, to see what the tidal volume is. So we can see we're going from approximately a little over 3.2 liters to a little bit over 3.6 liters. So that's approximately 400 milliliters of volume change. And over here, we are measuring our pressure, and this is in centimeters of H2O. And so we can see our min pressure is at about seven, and our max pressure is a little over 20. You want to maintain a minimum pressure above five, that's called peak. And we don't have a peep valve, so we are using a hose into a bucket of water, and that provides the back pressure. So the next steps are to actually build a similar system out of metal that could be mass-produced in case we get to the point where we need such ventilators.